well friends in this uh, video we shall discuss about the set z cosine tan z that is the integers modulo n so previously agar a and b do element agar z se liya jayega to usme agar hum as a relation define karenge ki a is congruent to b if n divides b minus a then we have already seen that this relation is reflexive symmetric and transitive therefore this is a equivalence relation so we can talk about the equivalence class of elements so we shall write in this way a quotient uh, a is congruent to b mod n and we'll read a is congruent to b mod n so the class a is basically the set a plus k and where k belongs to z that is the set a comma a plus minus n a plus minus 2 and so on and uh, precisely there are n distinct equivalence classes of mod n that is class 0 class 1 class 2 up to class n minus 1 basically we can think of a clock having n uh, n hours so basically we start from 0 1 2 up to n minus 1 whenever the clock hand is again in at n then it will be again 0 so now what we are trying uh, we are trying to define addition and multiplication in this set z cosine tangent so we are defining uh, the addition is uh, class a plus class b is uh, the addition defined is in this way ki hum log kya karenge? first we shall add in z and then take the equivalence class mod n and similarly for uh, multiplication so our first concern should be whether this definition for this definition the addition and multiplication is well defined or not so theorem 3 suggests that this addition and multiplication defined on z quotient and z are both well defined so in order to uh, prove the well definedness what we have to do we are taking pairs of elements a1 a2 and b1 b2 from z with uh, uh, the assumption that class a1 is nothing but class b1 and class a2 is nothing but class b2 so we have to prove that whenever we are adding any representative uh, from the class that will be the same for other representatives from the class that is we are going to def uh, prove that class of a1 plus a2 is class of b1 plus b2 and similarly for the multiplication the proof is very um, easy and straightforward whenever we are taking class a1 equals to class b1 so we can write n divides a1 minus b1 for that a1 will be b1 plus sn for some integer and similarly a2 will be b2 plus tn for some integer t therefore if we compute a1 plus a2 that will be b1 plus b2 plus some uh, multiplicative part within so uh, if we take mod n then it will be a1 plus a2 is congruent to b1 plus b2 mod n so we are done and we can prove for the multiplication similarly okay now another important fact is that defining the arithmetic on z quotient and z uh, is ka both are application important application hai. for example if we want to find the last two digits of 2 to the power 1000 uh, we can find with this uh, modular arithmetic what we will do basically whenever we are trying to find out the last two digits of uh, 2 to the power 1000 what we will do we will find the um, value in mod 100 ok so firstly look that 2 to the power 10 is 1024 which is congruent to 24 mod 100 now we will square both side so in the right hand side it will be 24 square that is 576 we will be 76 in mod 100 again we will square then the left hand side will be 2 to the power 40 and the right hand side will be 76 square that is 5776 so this will be again 76 mod 100 so we will continue the process until we will get the our desired result that is 2 to the power 1000 is congruent to 76 mod 100 therefore the final two digits will be 76 now we will conclude uh, this lecture with an important uh, observation that z quotient nz has an important subset and 
the subset we shall denote in this in this way z quotient nz cross basically this the this set uh, uh, this set has the elements uh, which have multiplicative inverse in z quotient nz therefore uh, mm, uh, the set is basically uh, the class of elements for which there is a class C for which uh, whenever we are multiplying class A with class C that will be the multiplicative identity that is class 1. Another important proposition is that this set is basically the elements from Z quotient and Z for which uh, whenever we are taking the GCD with N it will be 1. So let's take an example to clear the concept. So suppose n equals to 9. So what we are trying to find the z cosine 9z cross. So precisely uh, in this set there are only the elements for which uh, uh, <coughs> it is co-prime with 9. So this set will consist of 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8 and the multiplicative inverse will be 157248 now uh, whenever we are trying to find out the multiplicative inverse in z cosine and z cross what will take the help of euclidean algorithm specifically uh, whenever a is relatively prime to n then by euclidean algorithm there exists some uh, two integers x and y for which x plus n y equals to 1 therefore ax is congruent to one mod n so x class x will be the multiplicative inverse of class a in z cosine tangent so this example shows finally uh, in z quotient 60 z the element class 17 has multiplicative inverse class 53 because Whenever we will apply the Euclidean algorithm, we will see that minus 7 into 17 plus 2 into 60 is 1. Therefore, minus class 7 that is class 53 is the multiplicative inverse of class 17 in z cosine 60z.